that Sussex is going bankrupt. Harry and Meghan leave Spotify in the middle as £18 million podcast project fails. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's £18 million podcast project reflects badly on Spotify, according to a PR expert. Brand guru Mark Borkowski has described Duke and Duchess of Sussex's deal with Spotify as a PR disaster with the couple yet to deliver more than 35 minutes of content. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry signed a deal worth £18 million with the streaming giant in December 2020 but a source close to the project recently told The Sun, Spotify has been waiting a long time for some content from Harry and Meghan and now it appears they have finally taken matters into their own hands. Mr Borkowski told Talk Radio, it was a great publicity coup for them to create their narrative but also for Spotify. I think at the time, you know. I think we might have spoken but you know, what is the content? What is the output? All these comparisons with this was going to be the new Obamas, this was Michelle and Barack. Lots of comparisons on the content they were going to produce. You know, as well as I do, delivering content, engaging content, you just don't pluck it off some tree at the bottom of the garden. This is hard work and you absolutely need a team of people to help you develop a quality product, particularly quality content and obviously they've never struck me as team players. You've got a sensation, I might be wrong, that they're very directional in what they think they want and what they think they want to give. They have probably gone through enough people not to help them because of their stance on what they want to produce. What they think is great content, what they think they want to tell the world probably not particularly good and they've obviously lent on their celebrity mates Corden and Elton John to help them to get one thing off the ground. He added, I suspect that wasn't of top quality if it did, there'll be more resources into this and Spotify looked at it and say, God, we've got a publicity nightmare on our hands, we've got a PR nightmare on our hands because it reflects badly for Spotify as well. That these great golden gooses have laid nothing but more smelly old eggs, well they haven't even laid an egg. It comes as the streaming giant appears to have launched a recruitment drive for new staff to work with Meghan and Harry's production company Archul on the podcast project. A job advert posted by Spotify's podcast development team, Gimlet Projects reads, we're currently assembling a show team that will build and launch a new original show with our tool featuring the voices of high-profile women. We're looking for experienced producers to join a team that will launch an exciting new weekly show, based in Los Angeles. The ideal candidates have a background in audio production, and experience working with high-profile talent. They thrive under deadline pressure like to work collaboratively to solve problems. Producers will be involved in research, story development, talent management, recording slash field producing, writing and editing. Spotify is apparently growing the team assigned to work on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's projects for the music streaming platform, one year after the couple signed a reported $25 million multi-year deal to create exclusive content via their production company, Archual Audio. When they first signed the deal with Spotify, Harry and Meghan said in a joint statement, What we love about podcasting is that it reminds all of us to take a moment and to really listen, to connect to one another without distraction. With the challenges of 2020, there has never been a more important time to do so, because when we hear each other, and hear each other's stories, we are reminded of how interconnected we all are, we are